Hello, it's Salimek. In today's video, we're gonna replace spark plugs and show you how to read them, clean them, plus testing some bad spark plugs to see how they perform. So we're gonna be working on this 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander and the spark plugs located under this cover. Alright, let's remove the cover to get access to ignition coils. I like to use drill. It makes the job so much easier and so much faster. I'm plugging all wire harnesses and bolts. And don't worry if you mix the coils which one goes to which cylinder, they are all the same. Okay, the coils out, we're gonna use 16mm long socket to remove the spark plugs. Here is the first spark plug out, looks like we have a normal wear. General recommendation for changing spark plug between 30 to 90,000 miles, of course depending on company's recommendation as well. If your socket not holding spark plug, you can cut piece of wood and put it in, or use something like this or a magnet to take spark plugs out. Alright, here we got new and old spark plugs. Let's look at the old spark plug really close. If you look at the tip, we can clearly see that the spark plug tip wears out, comparing to the new one. And here is the new and old side by side. Next, we gonna use spark plug tester so you can see how they perform inside the engine. This one looks fine, but when the electrode black and dry like this, it means the engine running rich. In another word, more fuel being injected than the recommended amount, and it could be bad fuel injectors, fuel pressure regulator valve, air filter, O2 sensor, or a mass airflow sensor. Next spark plug. This one will cause misfire and check engine light on. There is a leak between the electrode and the isolator. And here is the new spark plug, working perfectly fine. Here is another spark plug, if there is oil on the tip, it means oil leaks on top of the piston and it could be bad intake or exhaust valve seal or bad piston rings. Another scenario when there is oil on the thread or the isolator, it means you have bad engine cover gasket, oil leaking into spark plug hole. That's an easy fix, you just have to replace engine cover gasket. For cleaning we will need carb cleaner, just spray some carb cleaner and use soft wire brush to clean the tip and the electrode. Spark plugs won't get dirty unless there is some serious problem with the engine. Alright, now we can put the new spark plugs in. Always put the spark plugs like this, don't drop them. The installation will be reverse of how we removed it. If you notice, I didn't use any seeds on the thread before installing spark plugs. Spark plugs that has chrome finish, no need to use any seeds. Used only on anodized finished spark plugs. Another tip if you don't have a torque wrench, a quarter turn like this is enough for tightening spark plugs. Ok, all the spark plugs done, we are gonna put the coils back and then the cover. Hope the video gave you some information how to read spark plugs and then how to replace them. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.